plants and animals and their habitats. Good day, class. Do you want to see the different places in our school and nearby community? Yes, Miss Reyes. Today's activity has something to do with the places where we usually see plants. These places are called habitats. We will find out the plants that live in different places. In this activity, you will need your pen and notebook. You will work as a group. When we go outside the classroom, you need to stay with your group and do the activity. Are we all ready? Go to your respective group, then form a line. Yes, Miss Reyes. The first place that we will visit is the school garden. You need to identify the different plants that you see in the garden. Write your observation in your science notebook. What common plants can be found in your school garden? What kinds of plants are these? Some of the plants that I saw were Gumamilla, Rose, and Bougainvillea. I saw some vegetables planted by other grade levels such as eggplant, tomato, and string beans. Some of the plants can be found in our garden, but you cannot find them in other gardens. What do you call these plants that live on land? Have you seen a plant that is attached to a branch of a tree? What do you call this plant? I saw some orchids that are attached to the tree. What do you call these plants? This time we will try to find other plants that live in another habitat. I want you to look around and observe the different plants that you will see in the river. What plants did you see in the river? What kinds of plants are these? Some of the plants that I saw in the river are lotus and water lily. How do these plants adapt to the place where they live? I hope you learned a lot from our trip today. Get ready to share your observations from the activity later.